have met up with in- NPCs you wanted to, done a little mundane shopping, and have all convened at the main reprieve tower. You have your. Uh, that's that one right there, right? Or it's, it's this one by the gate. It's the main tower. So if you wanted to go to, if you wanted to go to the central one, that's fine. Well, because the the road looks like it goes from the central one, and well, th- those are the underground uh, passages. Oh, in that case, uh, whichever one is closest, I guess. This does not connect to. <laughs> I can I can imagine okay. there's, imagine there's just a massive city grid. Yes. Like there's blocks and everything. You would be indeed correct. So, uh, what do? We will uh, head towards the the symbol. All right. The location of the symbol. So you're going to head towards the location that Pen gave you for that. Uh, Mm -hmm. And what you find is, well, it's a tiny workshop. Like, it's not very big. It is just like a little shack amongst uh, a fairly wide variety of other... uh, of other buildings that you commonly find around the reprieve. Extra storage, alchemy labs, maybe a few dormitories here and there, but I mean, it's fairly innocuous. Hmm. Should we head in, or? Uh. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Uh, oh, that was too, that was too much. Yes, we should. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, do, we just, do we just confront the owner? Like. Knock, knock. <laughs> uh, there is no answer. But. Is the door locked? The door is not locked, and upon closer inspection, if you wanted to do that, you would find the crown symbol etched into the door. The same crown that's the symbol on all the... Yes. The symbol we're looking for, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, hmm. We should be careful. Uh, before we open it, we should... I'll take a listen inside. Uh. uh you don't hear anything. I guess I'll open the door and look in. All right. Uh, inside, you find what appears to be an abandoned shop. There are glass jar. There are empty glass jars and vials, beakers and such, uh, lining shelves, all covered in dust and cobwebs. Some shelves stay empty. There are crates full of when there are crates full of basic uh, spell foci. Wands, amulets, and such. Uh, but nothing that particularly sticks out to you. You get a general sense is of there abandonment. Any, is there any spot in here that looks particularly like the dust has been disturbed recently? Mm. The floor is very, fairly clean, surprisingly. I mean, people might be walking through here. Uh, anything here? I'll I'll give an investigation check to. Well, first I'll say, everyone, be careful. Don't disturb the dust too much because that would make our investigation harder. Uh, but I will attempt to uh, look around to see again if maybe there's like a hidden lever or something to open a secret door. You're not finding anything with that investigation check. Anybody else want to give me a try? Uh, I will. Where's my investigation? All right. Uh, well, Mira would find it with that one. Seamus absolutely found it. Behind the counter, kind of tucked away in the, into the a, a bit of a corner, 
uh, you find a latch or a trap door slightly concealed by a rug. Mm. Well, that's that's probably exactly what we're looking for. Open it. Uh, I should listen at it first. True. You hear nothing. I open it. All right. You open it and find a a trap, a step ladder, <laughs> or short or wooden staircase descending into a well-lit basement. Give me a moment. Well lit. Bam. Yes, it's lit. This tiny room, uh, which does indeed stand empty, is lit by a single lantern hanging from the ceiling. And there's a door here. I can only imagine, right? Unless there isn't, and I can, and I'm blind. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I was checking something. I didn't see where you came. Is there is there a door right there? You give me a. Give me a or is that? Check. Okay. There's no door. You, you, you got, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no door. Wow, there's no door. You guys are finding an incredible lack of door. We got we got one more. Oh my god, there's No, not not a second one from you. It, you can't if you didn't find the door, up. I guess you could look again, but how do I let's see this door? Uh, Wait, no, are we doing investigation or perception? Well, I mean, Seamus, with that perception check, you do notice that there seems to be a seam in the wall. It's not super noticeable, but there is definitely a seam in the wall. About right, about mm. right here. <laughs> That's weird. There's not a door there, though. There's not a door there. It's just a seam in a wall. Mm. A secret door, perhaps. Whoa! Whoa! That's 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 that's, that's, bril that's brilliant. How about you look for the thing that would probably open said door? You know, with an investigation check. You know, I could just go spend time with my daughter. Wow, you guys, there's, I don't know what, you're what door, I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, Seamus, Seamus This finds, fucking door. Seamus finds a slightly loose stone in the wall, pressing down on it, uh, causes that section of the wall where the seam is to slide away. That's what I thought. Revealing. I'm just upset how low we rolled. That... <laughs> Lag happening again? I definitely move that door. It takes a little bit. All right. All right. Lead the way, Mira. Okay, there we go. Hmm. <clears throat> You you brought cookies into a dungeon? I didn't know it was going to be a dungeon. True. I hope they're not metal cookies. It might attract a rust monster. Oh, I was no. going to roll a perception no. check for traps. <laughs> These cookies are full of iron. Lettuce. Yes, it's good for you. Lettuce cookies. Would you like one? Um, no, I think I'm good, actually. I'm going to be honest, they're regular cookies. 
Uh, you find no tracks. Never mind, I actually like one. More hands than a cookie. Ah, oh, thank you. It's fresh. I haven't had a fresh cookie since, well, ages. Teddy always burns them. Dude, the chocolate chips are just a little melted. Uh, just gooey. Uh, and they're all they're all uh, they're all on the top. What's uh, that initiative order thing that you pulled up, hey uh, Scott, you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, well uh, this isn't meta at all. I'm going to percept at the door. <laughs> I was going to do that, okay? The, 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 uh, damn! <laughs> you, you, you ain't hearing shit. Uh, except for a light crackling of fire. I, uh... I turn to, uh, Seamus, who is behind me at the moment. Yes? And I, I put my finger up to my lips like a shush. And I whisper, There seems to be a crackling fire on the other side of this door. Might be a lantern or a campfire. Oh, yes, a, oh, yes, a crackling fire, huh? Oh, boy. Shall we? Let me take a listen. Let's see if there's anything else I can hear. I step aside. I ain't heard shit. Anyway, you it's the same hear... number, too. You didn't hear shit. Dude. What the fuck? You rolled the same number. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, you. This, also, this is a true five E game. You, and, mm, actually, with that lower roll, you, you definitely didn't hear anything. You don't even hear the crackling fire. Are you sure there's a crackling? Ori, why don't you take a listen? <sighs> All right. I swear, I could hear the that fire. Oh I'm my God. Six, <sighs> Okay guys, five, I, I think I'm four. done. I'm gonna go what is I'm gonna this? Right, you I'm no uh you guys time. you guys have a nice day. I'm I think I'm done. I'm uh <laughs> Oh my I'm just gonna God. Get Well back. uh No, I don't hear anything either. Still if you heard it, we should proceed with caution. Alright, so how are you choosing to open this door? Uh, Mira in the front, obviously, because I don't want to get blasted. So I'll scoop back, Seamus. Technical I, difficulty. I actually like to do the blast on myself, so... Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. No, you can't. Fantastic. Yes, I can. Yeah, we can. Hello. You can't hear us. So then type that. Well, you heard a fire, and I trust you. I must just not have heard it, so I say we should open it carefully and slowly. Bust it down. Well, not bust it down. Uh, Mira thinks she should do it swiftly. Swiftly. Okay. Do it so hard not, that the not swing like... of the door fans the flame. Not, like, super hard, but, like, I'm going to do it quickly so I can react to what's on the other side quickly. Alright, so you throw the door open. Are you still, ah! holding, are you still holding the handle? Uh, no, I be it it opens forward f from me, right? Yeah. So I believe I would push it open and have my hands on my axe ready. Okay. So you throw the door open, axe raised at the ready, and are met... With this scene, <laughs> if you can, uh, see, you so can see that, not yet. Zach, please. And you are met. I can't. With, uh, a scene of four goblins and a and a ah, bear. The door is the door. The door is still being shitty. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna now again. Now we're Seamus, in. I'm gonna ask you to not just plunge into the room while I'm describing things. We need to be able to fucking see it. Right. He's recording. He should be able to see what you see. Yeah. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I can, in here. There's the oh, door still here. here. All right, all right. All no, right. we can see each other's tokens and each other's views now. So the only one who has to be in there right now is Mira. Because, well, so I'm sorry. Me. Whenever you put your your token on top of mine, I can't select mine. It's not on top of yours. We're having some. You are right here right now. Yes. Right? We're having some. And I am right here. We're having some. Vulcan and Seamus is right here. Roll twenty is being incredibly. You creepy. went into the room. I am a step behind you. Seamus is a step behind yes. me. All okay. Right. You are met with this scene of four goblins, a bugbear, and three giant rats, uh, all kind of hanging out by the fire. And you seem to have just interrupted some sort of conversation they were having over what would, what would probably be breakfast. Uh, what, what were they speaking? Goblin-ish? Okay. We don't recognize the language. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, let's hope it's their last rights. I don't think they deserve the rights. Uh, so... Also, wouldn't we be giving them right to them? remain silent? Well, I don't know. Uh, so I do believe that that would be initiative, as they all pick up their weapons... <laughs> Ready yep. to ready to go. Ooh, that's not. Good. <laughs> I would request that you don't laugh at my complete and utter shit rolls. I'm sorry, but I am also pretty shit. You also didn't select your token, so let me just add you in real quick. Uh, haha. Descending order. So, Oriot is first. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> and by fun, I mean not fun. Can I have the temp HP? Uh, yeah. Oh, why is it not casting it? Are, no. no, no, no. Are we on. having roll 20 lag again? I thought, does it, does it not cast it if you just click the... Oh, there, there it is. Oh, there you go. Shit. Uh, or it cast Yay. Um. Oh, I forgot it brings up the thing asking you to cast it what level. But I can only cast first level anyway. Why does it even ask? Uh, I'll also go ahead and give you a Bardic Inspiration as well. Though. All right. So um, I get my plus four HP. That's a bonus action. Yeah, you get... Plus yeah, you get... Uh, Four temp HP at the beginning of each turn, right? And it heals uh, and it doesn't stack with itself, yeah? Right. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, And then right. you also get... Okay, uh... All right, now you, and now you get Bardic... One, one use of Bardic Inspiration as well. Okay. No, the Heroism gives temp HP equal to my spellcasting modifier, and that's, uh... Oh, it is Put my food six. Over. I do have a charisma bonus of six. It's Seamus's How turn. do you have a charisma bonus of six? Because you add proficiency. Oh, no, those are my saves, not my bonus. Sorry. Uh, you're right, four. It's four. <laughs> it's like, blah. Seamus' turn. He had to... He said he'd go... Okay, Seamus, it's your turn. All right, let's see. If I'm looking at this right, I think hitting the bugbear right here with an ice knife would be pretty dope. Oh, is that a bugbear? I can't even see that. Yeah, it's yeah, hard it's to see bug the bugbear. Because it's gray and it blends in with the gray stone. Can you give it, like, a five-foot aura that we can see? No, it's a zero-foot aura you can do. That oh, works, hey. too! He's red. Wait, you can do that? Yes. Now he's red! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. You can, yeah, you can change the tent of tokens in Roll20. Oh my god, this changes everything. That's how I've done dragons in the past, because all, right. all the dragon tokens are, in Roll20 are kind of shit. 
<laughs> I would just use a black dragon and recolor it. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, it's your turn. So you move there. Let me see. Hmm. See, I would do Ice Knife, but um, no, nothing's within five feet of it yet, so wouldn't do that nice little explodey wody. But what I can do is good old Witch Bolt. All right. And so let's see here. Uh, I have to make a range spell attack on it. So I believe range spell still use my dex or no no that's no, um it's int plus your proficiency bonus oh nice you have okay you have cool a, you have a separate spell attack DC I want to die well that doesn't hit at all. I, I, I would not think so. Yeah. So that's your turn. Let's see if I, if I rolled one more time. Like, let's say, let's just say. Let's, let's not. Let's see, uh, ow. Just, what is with these consecutive rolls? Dude, it rolls being bad today. Anyway, uh, it's the goblins. It's the goblins team turn. So, rat. Rat. Rat bite Seamus. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Why that can't the rats also me. miss horribly? That oh, they did. That, that does not hit you. Uh, no, it this, doesn't. This goblin is going to come up to Mira. This goblin no. is going to come up to Seamus. Oh, right, my AC isn't that high right now nobody, because I'm not just wrong. Nobody can touch Oriad at the moment. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so, Goblin Sword at Mira. His, Do I... His, I don't have to. His sword... Are you carrying a shield? Uh, no. I oh. Well, I am, actually, but I don't have it equipped right now. Uh, his, he swings his sword in a wide arc. He must have been drinking with breakfast, uh, because he just completely whiffs. The sword clatters on the ground as he accidentally lets go of it. What a loser. Uh, and then I'm going to kill him. Does that hit Seamus? It does! Seamus, you take eight damage. Uh, Ouch! The goblin buries his short sword into you. Yeah, that's max damage, buddy. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> the other two goblins are going to fire their bows at Mira. No. Yes. Yes. Mira Ouch. Takes six damage from an arrow to the leg. Owie. And it's a uh, Ace Ventura. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the bugbear is actually going to chuck its javelin at Oriot. Uh, does he take any kind of penalty for attacking and, through someone else? And miss horribly. Yeah, he doesn't uh -huh. even hit me. Yeah. Which is currently your cover. <clears throat> None of them are in a line. This is upsetting. None of them are in a line. <laughs> it is upsetting. Breathing a line instead of a cone. It would, and it is indeed your turn. So, do with well, what you will. I get the four temp HP. Yes. Can I take a five foot step so Ori can get in here? Yeah, you can. I don't want to get in here. <laughs> I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll and uh, I get angry. Angry? There we go. I just needed to get angry. Let's see here. How am I gonna... I don't know. 
How are you, Dana? Like that, but I can't. Fuck, I need to send this. Can you send my token to the back? To the back? Right click it to back. Okay. Are you going to walk through the giant bonfire? No! I sent it to the back. What are you doing? Fuck, why isn't my... Why isn't my eyebrow that I drew on her showing up? Anyway, um... I can't line... No, you can't. Anybody in this position, so I'm just gonna fucking whack. Which, I'm, I'm gonna whack that one. And you have rec reckless attack, so you get that dank advantage. I can choose to do that, yes. So I'm gonna do that for this turn. Uh... Fucking gotta fix all my number. No, my AC isn't one. God damn, there, where is it? There it is. Oh. Uh, well, I forgot to I forgot to click the advantage thing, but uh, it's well, nine damage, that, by the way. That hits, and it's de and the goblin is dead, dead, dead. Like you, 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 you cut off his head. In one, one fell swoop. Yeet. And we come, and with that, we come back around to Orient. Oh, that's a nice sweep you did there. Bye. Uh, this is just a test. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's a t that is a t hit. That's not damage. All right. Uh, although, damn, we're so low level, so I'm 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 cautious. I don't want to like blow all my spells, but I don't know how big this thing is or how much more we might find in here. You know, mock the bugbear. I huh? do mock the bugbear. Did, bu did the bugbear get no. hit or no? No one's no. hit anybody. No, I mean. It's not your turn. I it can turn. No. It's not your turn. It's shit. It's Oriot's turn. Thought you said that we're back to shame. Okay. If I did, then, no. I, then I misspoke, but it's Oriot's turn. No, you said Oriot. I could outline them in fairy fire. I could get. Actually, I could get basically all of these guys, besides the ones that are right next to us. And uh, then you'd have advantage on all attacks against them. Oh. Uh, and not have to reckless? But. Yeah, what does Reckless do? Does it uh, give, make you more vulnerable? It prov it gives me advantage on all attack rolls, but it also gives everybody attacking me advantage on, on <laughs> theirs. All right. Well, my point is, you know, I don't... Well, fuck it. I mean, you know, if we, if we run low on stuff, that's fine. Whatever. Fairy Fire. Uh, I will need... Uh, a deck saving throw. All of them? Yes. Uh, they all have a plus two, so I'm just going to do a mass roll. No! Haha! <laughs> -ha. So, they are all outlined. Every single one of them is outlined in, in, in glowing fairy fire, which I will go ahead and make violet light. Alright. Uh, and then, that's just aesthetic. Uh, Yes, they can't become invisible, or if they, they do, obviously we can still see where they are, so they get no benefit from it. And every attack against them is at advantage. Sweet. All right. Uh, and now that's that's my that's my goal. Good. Good. I'm gonna toll it up on the rat next to me. That rat's about to get told. Con save. No, wisdom save, sorry. Yeah. Uh, all right. Only if it was an int save. Yeah. No. How much damage? I'll take it. Five damage. It's looking pretty hurt. One might, even nice. say, one might even say it's bloodied. Wow. 
Wow. Ominous. And now it's the and now it's the goblin team's turn. So. Uh oh. Uh, rat. Rat. Rat bite for Seamus. Seamus takes six damage from the rat's bite. Ow. Yikes. Rat bite for Seamus. Uh, Seamus takes another five damage for the rat. Yikes. Oh, no. I am at one health. Do you want to kill me? Because this is how you kill me. Uh, There's death saves, remember. It's not as bad as it looked. Rat bite for Aureus. Uh, uh takes six damage wait. from the rat bite. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then Goblin... Oh, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a, a sword anymore. He dropped it. Go- that Goblin's gonna pick up his sword. And does... Provoke? And provoke, yeah. <laughs> does that, does that provoke in 5th edition? It might not. I'll, uh, I'll let it go this time. Wait, does he's, that mean dr- I got... he's drunk. <laughs> I yeet. You don't have an advantage against that goblin, but the fifteen. Yes, I do. I'm reckless attacking. Ah. Uh. I have advantage always now. <laughs> uh, also, he dead dead because that's a that's an eight. Yeah, he's dead dead. Did you mark the the things that I? Uh... I mean, you got you got all of them, but well, there, you got pretty much all of them except like this one and this one. Hmm. So he's dead, dead. Uh, and then two bows for Mira, because Mira is clearly the most dangerous thing in the room. Yeah. Mira takes well, three damage. So I will take two damage. No, roll round down one damage. Also, oh, just right. be, She's because uh, yeah, uh, roll again to hit me on the first one because of advantage. Right. While I am no, that is the same roll. Yes. Uh... Why do you keep rolling sixes on your damage? Stop it. <laughs> uh, Bugbear's gonna chuck another javelin at Mira. Yes, please. No. Don't don't th- don't throw it at Seamus though. No, that's not gonna do shit. I mean, if you're just gonna ignore your advantage against me, go ahead. <laughs> Come on, miss again, miss again. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna take seven damage from a nu- from a javelin. three damage. Three damage from a javelin to the to the leg. Now you can really do the Ace Ventura thing. It is the opposite leg. Yeah. Uh, all right. But I'm fine though because and now it's I've only turn. actually lost two health. And now it's Mira's turn. Okay. Okay. I need these bitches in a line, like right the fuck now. Um, I can delay until you guys, uh, until Seamus gets the fuck out of this room. Because uh, if he wants to back into the hallway, and I can, I can back up with him to protect him. I mean, if Oriot stays in place, it wouldn't matter. So Yeah. Well, let's mm-hmm. see here. The, the what, only what issue do? here would be getting you out without any attacks of opportunity. The withdraw action is withdraw. still playing. Yeah. Okay. And there's not even a roll for it. You just do it. Yeah. I just had to roll a path later either. You could just withdraw physically. Yeah. You can roll to, to just to uh, actually, you can roll acrobatics in, in Pathfinder to right. avoid provoking even on a normal move. All right. Yeah. You can withdraw behind me then, Seamus. All right. Actually, let me see. How's my acrobatics? No, that's, that, again, that's Pathfinder. I don't think that's a fifth edition rule. No. Oh, well, right. let's see here. I will use my attack action to I withdraw. Whack rat. Okay. Mira whacks rat. Uh, 
I will continue to uh, reckless attack. So, make sure the advantage is on. Okay. You have advantage against that rat, regardless. Do I? Yes. It's only, Why? It's that only was one of the rat. things that's, that... That's a fairy fire rat. Oh, in that case, I don't need to. There. So I won't. Yeah. But a, does a 13 hit? Uh, 13 does ah. hit. And 11 yeah, damage. Yeah, okay. You cut, the, you cut the rat in half. Jesus. 13 damage. Because <laughs> it's plus two, fucking, I can't figure out why the fuck it's not adding it properly. There, fairy, fairy fire marked. I know you said it's purple, and I, but purple's not an option I have. Oh no, it is. There. Uh, okay, move action. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah. I will move right fucking God, my brain is so small. Why can't I think? I'm going to go here. <laughs> They were all already attacking me anyway, so it's fine. Alright. 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 Uh, hmm. Well, Seamus, you just took potions if you need to heal. How did we distribute the potions again? Because we got ten of them, for well, twenty-three of us who got the uh, extra. I got two, but uh, like I said, I have withdrawn, so I can't do anything on my, on my turn. Why do you have two? Shouldn't you have three? We got ten. Ten across three people. I took five. You think yeah. you already had two? I took, I took five. Why'd you take five? Because I'm the tank, and I'm going to be taking the most damage. <clears throat> Yeah, so... <laughs> hey, it's not my fault the wizard walked into the room. Okay, uh, so how many does that mean I get, then? Does that mean I get three, then? And then he only gets... Yeah, either way, I, I can't yeah, you get three. heal until next round, because I withdraw. Yeah. So, but you're basically just skipping my turn. Seamus became withdrawn. So anyways, your turn. Okay. Um I'm going to if I move out of place, then they could attack Seamus. I don't want to do that. Otherwise alright, I uh, actually hit this angle. Probably can't hit that one, but I can hit that one if I do vicious mockery. Nope, it's the one that's hurt, so Vicious Mockery! <laughs> Wisdom save, DC 14, to half the damage. Alright. Uh, hang on. Just get checking, because I did it before. Uh, I've thought about making macros for all the enemies I'm going to be using, but that's a lot of macros. Given that each individual stat has uh, its own save. Yeah. I find it easy if I just roll actual dice when I'm DMing. But... Yeah, he's gonna have that damage for one. <laughs> one damage. This just mockery sucks. It would be Seamus' turn, but he went. Uh, so these rats are going to... Come in for Oriot, and the goblins are gonna, uh, goblins are going to remain where they are. So rat for Oriot, and miss, and another rat for Oriot. Uh, 
hit. Six damage. Six damage. God damn. damn. <laughs> whenever you haven't, whenever you hit someone other than me, you, you've rolled max damage. Uh, two goblin arrows. The Rainier. dice do not fucking like us right now. And I'm not, uh, reckless, so. Yeah, that, neither of those hit you. <clears throat> and the bugbear, since you're all up in his face, is just gonna whack you with his morning star. Do it, you won't. He did. He did. He did. Why does he get 2d... Why does he get 2d8? Because it's a morning star. I want a morning... I'm taking his morning star. <laughs> if I got a 2d8 when I got to fucking use a morning star, I'm gonna fucking use a morning star. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen in half. Half. You're raging. Seven. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot. I got four extra HP. Minus seven. Man. Is the Bugbear's Morning Star just special? I think it might be. And we come back around to your turn. Give me that morning star. <laughs> it's mine now. Oh. I'm making a uh Yeah, I think I think the Bugbear's morning star is just special. That like not an actual oh. roll, but like just as a meme. <laughs> okay. Give me that thing. <laughs> he ja he ja your, your morning star. He jabbers at you in Goblin. I know he speaks common. Well, he Seven. Seven damage. Oof. I... Yeah, seven. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Or it. Rats. Yes, rats. Uh, attack the one in front of me with my rapier that will oh. he's still not dead but very hurt perforate the rat okay uh this is going to suck when it hits me then Seamus yeah it's your turn Blast the fools in front of me. Oh boy. Uh, this is a perfect time for ice knife. Yeah, it is. And you can now that you don't have to hit me with it. Yeah. Well, no, I can just. Yeah, that's true. If I don't hit you with it. Well, you, um, you don't have to because you second. can negate. You can basically. Oh yeah. The AOE. That's what I said. Now that you don't have to hit me with it, it is the perfect time for it. Alright. Wait a second here. Ice knife. That's one. From the rats. No, no. Okay, so they're they're both gonna, they're both gonna take the cold damage, uh. But that rat dies from just being impaled on an icicle, and this one dies due to the sharp due to shrapnel. Nice. Double kill. Nice. Double. Goblin time. Yo, when can I take cleave? Uh, that's gonna hit Never. Mira. That's gonna hit Mira for seven, or half of seven. You mean whatever three. half of seven is, three? <laughs> and that one's nah. gonna hit her for three. Ow. Bugbear stabs you with javelin. Lord, uh, he's gonna... Why does he have so many dice? He's gonna hit her for... 
to This is irritating. Why does your javelin poke so hard? <laughs> Shut up, I know you understand what I'm saying, you goddamn piece of shit. Do you give me a nature check? <laughs> Bugbears are intelligent, I know they speak common. But does Mira know they speak common? Yes. She does. She does. <laughs> Unless this bugbear specifically is just a dumbass who didn't pay attention in his common classes. It's your turn. Do you mean common core? No, That's it. stop it. Come here, Seamus. You're the next target. No, no, come on, come on. No, we damn got, it, we fuck. Got, we, got, we got a bugbear to kill. <laughs> yes, okay, attack, 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 kill. Kill! Woo! He's dead! He's... Murder! Death! Death! <laughs> Damn, what, what is that 10? That is the crit! Ah. Uh. Oh, he, with the two, yeah, he's dead. He's dead, dead. <laughs> you got tired of his shit. And just creep his head off. <laughs> Fucking up talk, just shit talking Wait. him the whole time, and he—I know he understands me, and he's just fucking shouting gibberish at me, like, "God damn, what a fucking slut!" Eat shit. He just, he just yells in pain. And you're like, "Oh, so right. you can speak?" We're coming, we're coming back. You don't need to speak a specific language to yell. It's already its turn. <laughs> Wait, when? Uh, what? What moved me? I did. Sorry. For some reason, okay. my fucking ah, <sighs> yeah, it just, just happens every just time. Use, just use as long as your token selected, you can use the arrow keys to move a square at a time. So you could use that to just get out. Yeah, I just I don't, I don't. Yeah, the problem is when I'm under the other token, and I don't have it fucking selected. I'm in some deep shit now, ain't I? Okay. Anyway, goblins, goblins. Wait, no, I thought you said it was my turn. It is your turn. Still now kill the gerblins. Okay. I will. I I guess the best course of action here, considering I don't want to get bopped for now, I'll attempt a vicious mockery on the closer goblin. There you go. D D C fourteen wisdom save. You just yell out, wow, imagine being a goblin in 2020. Goblin. Wisdom save minus one. So, no, definitely not. Aha, uh -huh. three damage. Which got this, this goblin? Closest goblin? All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Seamus? Bye. It's your turn. Not sure how. Told the one that was hit, maybe? Which one was hit? The closest one, right? Yeah, the the one that got vicious mockeried. Yeah. Ah, well, let's see if I can ding dong the bitch is dead. Uh... He rolled the right. Let's... He rolled the number, but he had a minus one. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. So. <clears throat> deal your damage. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> That's just the toll of the dead sound. <laughs>
It's the fucking I iPhone know. default alarm when oh. death just comes in. It's... Uh, okay. We're gonna finish this up, but then we've gotta pause. All right, so so go ahead. The goblin will attack me, and then I'll attack him. Right? Yeah. Ech. Ah! Damn! <laughs> the goblin just hears default. Oh wait. Alarm. Okay. I'm okay. Sorry. Okay. The plus four HP still might save me. Um. Okay. So the crit. Wait. He's the. Uh oh. What did he attack me with? Uh, a bow. Uh oh. So you take four damage because you take eight total. Okay. So there goes my temp HP. Uh, please hit. Yeah. I think I did it. Uh, what is that? Six damage total. That's the most pathetic set of numbers I've ever seen. Is still standing. Make fun of him. Somehow. This is the hardiest goblin you have ever seen. He's the I'd old- be like, wow, imagine being alive in 2020. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. I can't believe it. This is the only enemy in this combat that I haven't one-shot. <laughs> this goblin deserves some respect. He does, but he's not gonna get any. He's just gonna get laughed He's at. too dangerous to be left alive! You fucking vicious mockery him. Get him! It's already get his ass! It is my turn, isn't it? It is. <sighs> Your mother. <laughs> yeah, but does he, he still, still live? He still made the he half made damage. Save, so he takes half damage. So he is dead. Two damage. But it's Two like... damage. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> oh my god. No, you say right. your mother. Right, right. I don't have a mom. Stop, stop. Oh, 